So now that we have the construction lines made, we now need to make our drawing. So your construction lines so far have been light. You've done a great job with that. And so now we're going to look for one of our lines for one of our squares. Then the rest is going to be up to you to figure out how to make this thing uh, work. All right? So let's take a look at this dark line here. Obviously, the top of this line here is going to be this line, this blue line right there. So I am going to just go ahead and darken this in. Now, you're going to have to do some erasing, so don't make it too dark that you can't erase. So I'm going to go ahead and make this dark. All right. Oops, I need to layer my thing appropriately first. Hold on a second. And I'm going to put this all on the bottom layer. OK, so now I'm going to make this line dark. Uh, and that line's a little bit off, so I'm going to redo it because accuracy is important. OK, that's much better. So we see that line. That's really, really obvious. The question is, where does this line occur in our constructed drawing? What intersections must I connect in order to get that bottom line? Jack? Come on up and show us. I want you to circle it with your finger. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not this x, actually. And remember, points of intersection, you need two Two points of intersection to connect, not just one. Brianna? Ah, uh, yes. I will connect this intersection with this intersection. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Do we want to darken this one? Yes. But no, y yes, you want to darken this one, but knowing that you're going to have to do some erasing later. Now, to make sure you've done this right, this line that you've constructed, this hidden line, if you will, that you constructed by connecting this intersection with this intersection, this line must be parallel to this very obvious line. If your lines are not parallel, it is a dead giveaway that something is wrong. Most likely, you didn't connect your two points of intersection correctly. Is it okay that it's not going through that X? It shouldn't go through that X. The, the question was, is it okay if it doesn't go through the <coughs> intersection of your arcs from your perpendicular bisector? Um, this line here, this intersection, is arbitrarily found. Like its its height on this diameter is arbitrarily found based on your compass setting. If your compass setting was larger, the intersection would still be on this line, but it'd be higher up on this line. So this doesn't really get you anywhere. Okay. Is that right? That looks right. All right. Now that is your one hidden line that I am going to give you. You are responsible for creating a drawing that looks like this. I wish you luck. Go to it. Now for the, the home audience, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. So to finish up this square, I'm obviously going to go from here to this intersection. And that's going to be parallel to this uh, edge right here. And so I've just created this edge and this edge. Obviously, I'm going to have to do some erasing. And now, to finish it up, we have to have our other two outside lines, which I'm going to darken in. That's, and these two are really obvious. And then the not as obvious is when we connect this intersection with this intersection. 
And this intersection, and this intersection. So we have our square. Is that, is that the only thing? Figure it out, sir, figure it out. Now, for my small, for my red square, I'm going to go from here to here. So the outside is going to go from here, and then it's going to stop right here when it goes underneath my first square. So I'm going to darken this one in to this point right here. Now obviously with a pencil, I would just draw all the way across, and then I would erase this piece right here. But I am trying to save myself a little time. Then for this inside piece here, I'm going to go from this point of intersection to this point of intersection right here. But as you see, it's going to pass under my blue square here. So when I get to this line here, I'm going to stop. So from here, I'm connecting this intersection here. But you know what? I don't have the intersection over here, so I'm going to have to go through all the way here and just go ahead and erase this line later. So I can do that now, actually. I'm going to redraw this line to here. And then I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to erase that right there. Okay. Then this line picks back up over here, right? And then again, we go through all the way to this point, but it's going to get go underneath my blue square here. And it's going to pick back up on the outside all the way here. And then this point of intersection to this point of intersection. And you'll notice that this edge here goes underneath my blue square right here. So I'm going to make a shorter one that stops right there. And then I'm going to erase this one. So I get that, all right? So then, obviously from here to here. But it's going to pass under this, this square right here, so I'm going to stop it here. And then from here to here, because it, when it reappears on the other side. For this hidden line from here to here, I'm going to connect this point of intersection with this point of intersection right here. And obviously it passes under the blue square here, so I'm going to redo this one. And then I'm going to erase that line. And then for my final edge, here to here, but we know that it passes underneath the blue square starting here, and then it reemerges on the other side here. This point of intersection gets connected to this point of intersection. And then to get the illusion of it passing underneath the other square, I'm going to have to erase this portion. So I'm just going to redraw that one and erase right here. Now, my red square is in good shape. My blue square. Well, I need to do my erasing, because this doesn't look like a whole lot right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my construction line so we can see things a little more clearly. All right. So on this edge here, it looks pretty good. This, I need some help. So this edge is, is this edge here. From here to here is, is, is a colored in. So I'm going to redo that one. Just from here. I'm a little low on that, so I'll redo that. 
Here to here. Goes under and then reemerges here. And I'm going to erase. Then this line is good, but I need to get rid of that piece there. So I'm going to redraw this. Now you have an advantage over me. You can just sort of use your eraser, which would make a lot more sense. Well, let's see what else. So then, so I go under here, I go under here. So that means this line needs to be erased here. So I'm going to erase that, erase that. So from here to here is good. From here, oh. shoot, am I getting myself confused? Yes, I am. So the square passes under, so these lines are okay. It's this line and this line that are giving me problems. So, this, I'm going to draw that line in here, and then it reemerges here. No! And then I erase that line. There we go. And then this line from here down to here, that looks right. And then I'm able to erase that line. So now it passes under. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Can get rid of that extra line I don't need. So then now it's passing under again. So it's going to get rid of that one, that one. So I'm darkening in this section. I'm going to erase right here. And then for this line, that from here to here is good. I want, don't want that. And from here to here is good. And then I go back and get rid of this. And then my last one is right here. So it's going under here and here. So this line is okay from this point of intersection to that point of intersection. So I darken that and I can erase my original line here. And then from here to here is okay. And from here to here is okay. So I can erase that line. So now I have two squares that are interlocking. If you'd like more videos on constructed drawings or math in general, uh, there are tons of eighth grade algebra videos, from algebra as well as connected math, on www.slavens. Eighth grade math dot blogspot dot com. That's funny. Feel free to uh, visit the site, and most of the videos are can be found through the tabs on the top of the page.